I learned to farm and ranch in the conventional type model. Tillage, use of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, monoculture, grain production. That's how I learned it. 1995 came along and we lost our entire crop in a hailstorm. 1996, we got hailed out again, lost 100% of our crop. 1997, and we dried out. It was a devastating drought that year. 1998, got hailed out again, lost 80% of our crop. Thought, oh my goodness, how can I ever live through this and, and continue? And I really came to the realization that in agriculture, we're trying to impose our will on nature. We're always fighting nature. I needed to change the way I saw things and work with nature instead of against her. So now we do not till the soil. We do not apply copious amounts of pesticides and fertilizers. We always have armor protecting the soil surface. You don't see bare soil on our ranch. By having these cover crops growing, I was extending the growing season. And then we were allowing the livestock to graze those cover crops, integrating cattle back onto the land. I learned to mimic nature. And now, through the work of many others, it's become known as regenerative agriculture. It's not the cow, it's the how. Every day they get moved to a new paddock, and then that grass has over a year to recover. What that's doing is it's taking massive amounts of CO2 out of the atmosphere and putting that carbon back into the soil. We increase biodiversity, it's good for insects, it's good for wildlife, we get cleaner water, and it increases our profitability as ranchers. It's a win-win-win situation. In 1991, when we bought the ranch, we could only infiltrate a half of an inch of rainfall per hour. Today, we have proven we can infiltrate over 30 inches of rainfall per hour. This is a neighboring field. No cover crops, no livestock integration. Looks like a brick, right? And rainfall falling on this, it's gonna run right off. But rain falling on this will easily be infiltrated into this soil. We have 17 different enterprises on this ranch. That makes you very resilient, not only ecologically, but economically as well. Farmers are often blamed as being part of the reason for climate change, but they can be a large part of the answer. This is truly taking soil health, plant health, animal health, and converting it to human health. We can do this on broad scales all over the world if we apply these practices. My goal in life, my lifelong passion, is to help educate others. For the betterment of all, we can change the way we farm and ranch. Soil health directly affects every person everywhere.